Hey everyone, Piano Man Chuck here. So this is March 2023, about one month before the NAM show 2023 in Anaheim, California. Now, NAM is typically held in January, but in 2020 and 2021, because of COVID, those two years were lost. The NAM show was not held. So when it got brought back in 2022 last year, that was held in June. And basically, it was a very poorly attended show because we were still right in the middle of the COVID crisis. But now 2023 show NAM is upon us next month, and it's going to be held in April instead of January Next year, 2024, we're going to get back to normal, and it'll all be held in January. But this coming NAM show in April is going to be a very, very promising show. Now, in past NAMs, Roland and Korg have been staples at the show. You couldn't find a show without Roland or Korg. In fact, 10 years ago, Roland's booth was half the arena. <laughs> that was so cool. I really loved it. But now, Roland, for the second year in a row, last year, 2022, and this year, 2023, will not be attending. And, I mean, Roland's got a lot of things going on. They've got that Roland thing going on with Guitar Center and all that. Also, Korg will not be there as well. Now, Roland won't be at all, but Korg is setting up booths for meetings only. There won't be any wares or products to display or demo, just strictly sales meetings. Now, as far as the uh, slab keyboards that will not be there this year, besides Roland and Korg, Viscount will also not be there. Great company, very powerful keyboard in the legend 70s, but they won't be there as well. Okay. And related pro audio brands that also won't be there, also who were staples at the past NAM shows, Presonus, Behringer and Bose will not be there. Now, it's kind of not surprising because Behringer hasn't been there in the past few years. They used to have a, a really nice presence there, but they haven't been there in the past few years. As far as Personas, also a staple at NAM shows, they won't be there, but that's not surprising because Fender bought them out. So Fender is now calling the shots. Bose like I said, also won't be there. Now, since I covered digital pianos and all that kind of stuff, let's switch over briefly to acoustic pianos. Here's the brands that will not be at NAMM this year. Ravenscroft, which is probably one of my favorites, that and Fazioli. It's a tie, Ravenscroft and Fazioli. I love them both, but Ravenscroft will not be there this year. Steinway will also not be there this year. Not surprising, they're never there. Steinway, everyone knows about. They don't need to advertise. Steinway is Steinway. So when they do have a presence at NAMM, it's just to set up a, a Steinway piano in one of the hallways where people can play it. That's the extent of Steinway at NAM. Also, who will not be present, Petroff, Bluthner, Baldwin, and Grotrian will not be there. In fact, the whole piano section is going to be very, very small this year as far as acoustic pianos. But you're going to have a lot of the regulars. In fact, Fazioli will be there, and that's probably the most prestigious brand that's going to be there this year. I love Fazioli, and I'm going to wait in line, however long it takes, to sit down and play one of the Fazioli's because it's, it's such a privilege to play one of those. Now, even though a lot of manufacturers introduce their new wares over at NAM shows, 
there's been a lot of introductions already taking place before the NAM show. Now, again, NAM happens in January, usually, since it's happening in April this year. So between January and April, there's been a lot of things that have come out, and actually even before January. So let's talk about the new pianos, digital pianos that have come out before that. Casio released their PXS 7000, 6000, and 5000. I've covered those in various videos, but wow, that really brings Casio into the pro market, and they have done a phenomenal job with that. Roland just introduced the Roland FPE-50, and I am so looking forward to reviewing one of those as soon as a review unit comes available. Dexabel introduced their S10 and S10L, which supersedes their previous S9. They announced that last year at NAMM, and it's finally starting to come to market now. This is the problem with NAM shows. They introduce all these new models, and then just because they introduced it doesn't mean it's available right away. And the Dexabel is a perfect example. It's taken almost a year to get that to market. Now, Dexabel also has the SX8 available, and that's also just starting to come to market as well. Kurzweil SP7. I did a demo of that last year. Uh, thankfully, Chris Martirano was able to accommodate me doing that demo. We had such a good time with that. But the SP7 is finally starting to come to market now. So when I get to NAM next month, it's not going to be like it was with the SP7 last year because that was a prototype. We didn't know what the final was going to be like. So this year, I'm going to have the, the bottom line for you on what the final product is going to be like. Also, Nord just introduced, just introduced the Nord Stage 4, long-awaited stage replacement for the Nord Stage 3. Oh, I can't wait to get my hands on that. So many things on that look so promising. I will cover it all for you in a future video. As far as existing products, I use a, a QSC Touch Mix 30 for my mixer and recorder. They finally, after many years, now have released a new firmware version for the QSC Touch Mix 30, and that's the firmware 3.0 release. You can save scenes, which is so cool, and a bunch of other stuff. So much other stuff, I haven't even gotten the chance to catch up on that yet. Piano Tech released Piano Tech 8 just a few months ago. I covered that, so check that out. And Donner, they're always coming out with new products, but they announced a new keyboard slash drum amp, the DDA35. I covered that. Check that out as well, because that's very impressive. I actually compared that to the Roland KC110 keyboard amp, and really, you got to check it out because they both sound phenomenal and I think the Donner might have a little bit of an edge on that. So that's what I have for you so far. There's going to be complete NAM coverage as I always do next month at the NAM show. So mark your calendars. NAM is happening April 13th, 14th, 15th, 2023. I will be covering it as usual, so stay tuned. Piano Man Chuck, peace out. Thanks for watching.